So we now know officially we are getting retrievers in the Hunter Call of the Wild, and as we anticipate that release, we're headed out for a hunt here in Classic with the retrievers that have been in this game for a number of years. And I just kind of want to show how they work, what we maybe can expect in Call of the Wild, and just go for a hunt across several maps and see if we can find anything good in the process. So as we approach our blind for snow geese, I wanted to quickly look at the commands. We have come here, which of course would be heal in the Hunter Call of the Wild, fetch, get out of or into blind, which we're going to take a look at, and then of course you lay down, sit, and stay. So when we enter this blind, we can get our retriever to come in here with us. I'm curious if that's going to be a thing in the waterfowl blinds in Call of the Wild. I feel like there's probably not enough space, but it's a really useful feature, which we'll see in just a second. So we got a little break of snow geese, three of them coming around here. I think actually we may try to catch them right as they fly over the blind. A chance at a double. Didn't get, I almost think we hit the second one though. And we did manage to get all three. So the reason I mentioned the blind thing being useful, when we send our retriever Rocky to go pick up one of those, we can actually just stay here in the blind. Now, one reason I don't know that it's as big a deal in Call of the Wild, you can't actually claim anything from inside this blind. Any bird, any moose, bison, whatever we might shoot, even if it's right up against the side of the blind, we can't actually pick that up. However, here in Classic with the Retrievers, what he's going to be able to do is enter the blind with the bird and allow us to pick it up. So, depending on how Call of the Wild may approach it, something like this I think would be really nice. 12.0 CSS, as if that couldn't be any more perfect, by the way. And we'll just send it back out to pick up the next one. And the nice thing is, as we maybe watch around or begin to call on other flocks, Rocky can just bring our birds back and leave them right here. This one does look solid, at least compared to the other. Got the common blue 2.2, so maybe this white variation is just really small. Because 2157 is not particularly large. This is going to be another 2.2 kilo. And I do hear one more flock coming over. So one more opportunity before we swap to another map and another species. Three more birds. And luckily with our three round magazine, three more kills. And I mean, at the end of the day, I think having a retriever is probably something like 90% convenience. There are times where, you know, maybe you shoot a bird 200 meters away, 300 meters away with a 22 or something like that. Those times it can be difficult to actually find the bird, whereas the retriever can go and find it with no big problem. Maybe it lands in brush or just in an area you can't find. I think specifically in Call of the Wild, wounded birds that eventually maybe go down way far away from where you hit them, that might be a really big factor. The retriever may help in recovering some of those, but I did want to let him kind of pile everything in here again, kind of to make that point of the convenience. We can sit here if we were going to stay, call in this next flock and let Rocky do the work, but because we're going to go ahead and claim these and go after some other stuff, we'll let that flock fly over. I do think this time we got at least a halfway decent goose. Claiming both of the females first, even though this one is right in front of us, I know we had a male, we spotted it, and I think it was up to 3,500 or so. He is 3.3 kilo. 33, 38 is not a bad score. Not huge, but we'll take that. Now, one thing I absolutely want to highlight in this video is the customization we have for dogs in Hunter Classic. You can see we've got a different collar on than we had before, and we've got this dog backpack. And the real reason I wanted to bring that up is kind of the way that you can bird hunt in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Go to Revan Tuli Coast, for instance. You can walk around with a blind, decoys, and everything ready to go. And when you encounter a flock of birds, you can set up and bring them in and hopefully get more flocks in that area. Basically, when I look at the dog backpack, I think the new e-collar in Call of the Wild. You can see what we're carrying here. We have the e-collar in Classic, we have some extra shotgun shells, 22 rounds, arrows, and hog scent, all in our dog's backpack. If you could, for instance, in Call of the Wild, maybe throw the e-collar and... I don't know, a couple of extra decoys in a dog backpack if they were to come out with something like that. You could carry a shotgun and a 22, probably your blind, and all the decoys and stuff you could need, and you don't have to worry about colors. That's something that I think could be added, and I don't expect that to be on release or anything, but something I wanted to put out there because I think that would make dogs, generally, not even just retrievers, a lot more useful if they had that ability to carry stuff, and... Customization would be nice. Let us change what kind of collar maybe we have. We had that winter vest over on White Rhyme Ridge. Those sorts of things, I think, make having a dog a lot more fun. And it makes you bring them more often. 
But the real reason I wanted to come to Logger's Point is the opportunity to go after pheasants and cottontail rabbits. Of course, we can have the dog retrieve a bunch of things, and those are among them on this map. So we're going to see if we can flush these and maybe get two of them. Want to get these hammers back? There's two different roosters. Got that one? Where did the other one go? That was a hen that we shot at anyway. I don't know where the other rooster actually got to, but we will send Rocky to go and get that one, and maybe we can figure it out. I didn't see him take off again anywhere, but the two that we shot at were hens side by side, so I don't know where the rooster got to, but you, you kind of see the advantage of actually having a retriever on us. At least, had that rooster been somewhere nearby, we had a chance to find it and have Rocky go and get the 16.5. That is about as small as they get. But we'll continue on here. We do have our pheasant locator. Maybe we'll figure that one out. But I do want to see if we can get a rabbit or two. Now, admittedly, most situations with a cottontail rabbit, probably not something we need a retriever for. But if we use the 22, and hopefully we can land this shot, because sometimes it can be a little bit tough to get that headshot, we can, once again... Send Rocky on his way, go and retrieve the rabbit for us, and we can just keep on hunting looking for other things to get. And I mean, that is legitimately the thing I'm most excited about for retrievers in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Things like hunting on Ribbon Tule Coast. We've all done it where we shoot maybe a whole flock of ptarmigan or something that flies by, and it can take some time to recover those, and maybe you're already tracking a max weight track or something like that. Having a retriever go get those birds and allowing you to keep hunting, I think that's a really big deal. Now, we would have shot that whitetail buck if we had something to shoot it with, but we're running with small game equipment so we can shoot rabbits and pheasants and things like that. But I think the point still stands. As for our little bunny, by the way, I've almost never had the retrievers pick them up, so that animation looked pretty good. 1.6 kilo, headshot at 73 meters, and a 1558 score. And we actually are going to go to Vatabla, do a little ptarmigan hunting, and we probably won't see as big a flocks or as many kills as we get in Call of the Wild, but a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison, almost. So, go figure. The ptarmigan aren't exactly cooperating today. There's just not been very many in the areas that we've been to, but we do have a little male here. I think we'll try to get him with the 12-gauge. And rather than whistling to flush this one, we'll pretty much run over top of it so we get as long with it in shotgun range as possible. Not that that was super necessary. But there was an Ibex up here. I'm sure it spooked from that shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That one looked really bright. <laughs> it must have just been in the sun. I thought we had an albino and I was going to really strongly panic. But if we can get that down, I think we clipped it. Maybe we didn't. That got it. And again, we can go over there and recover our Ibex that's going to be sliding down that mountain at about Mach 12, and we can, even though we're running right past it, we can let Rocky take care of bringing us the ptarmigan. So I am curious, did we ever hit it before the kill shot? Oh, we did. I think it was that first time. It was 25 second wound time. That seems about right. Then we got it in the neck on the follow-up. Just a 110 scoring female. And as we've been doing that, Rocky is about halfway over here with our bird. And again, we get to highlight a little bit of the customization. We have the orange pack on this time. And just a 0.6 kilo male ptarmigan. 553 score. And I was going to keep on hunting them, but I think kind of the point was made. And also, they're just not cooperating. So we're going to go probably go for one more species here. And then we'll wrap this up. Now, I will admit, part of the reason I chose Canada Geese is because I think we can do a kind of cool trophy shot here. But... We're also more likely to get a few more birds. Now, the quality of our shooting is going to kind of determine that. Four for four so far. I think that may be the only other one. Pushing it for the 10 gauge. We hit it. I know that because we lagged a little bit. Gonna need the 22 to finish it off. And hopefully, we can land a shot. Gotta be really close. There we go. Got all five. And we're gonna let Rocky bring all five here. And basically... This is kind of something I'm hoping we can do in Call of the Wild by positioning ourselves where we want to take this trophy shot. We can let Rocky bring all the birds to that location and we'll see if we can kind of do what I'm trying to do here. Well, I claimed that one by accident, so that's not going to help. 
But we'll still have four here. I think it'll work for what we're trying to do. And with all four geese placed, we're going to try to do this. Now, I think this kind of like closest one to us is the biggest. So we're going to back up and claim from here. It's 6.3 kilo, nothing special. But solid enough to attempt to set this up. I'm going to say that will work. It's not perfect. The lighting isn't the direction I wanted, but I chose the geese all face in a decent direction over perfect lighting. This is the kind of thing I like to do, though, with these trophy shots. And by the way, there are some geese landed out here in the decoys. I could hear them. I don't know exactly where they're landed or maybe they've taken off since. But there were that some there were some that flew in while we did that. We already had Rocky retrieve these. so We can just go ahead and pick them up. There was a bigger one. That's the one we got with the 22. 6557. It was already 73 meters when we hit it with the 10 gauge, so no surprise it was 140 plus by the time we got it with the 22. 5800 for that one, and our final goose of the day, if we're going to be able to pick it up, is going to be 5700 ish. Next shot's on three of the four, 5739 for that, but a couple of things. First of all, hopefully this gives a little bit of an idea, expectations maybe, of how retrievers could work in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Basically, this is, I think, all they need to do. Be able to retrieve your birds, rabbits, whatever small game species you're after, and add that level of convenience. I really think about it in terms of a hunt like something on Reventuli Coast. Maybe the flock of ptarmigan that I mentioned. You get four out of five. In the fifth one, you wing. Maybe it flies 100 meters before it drops. Send your retriever off, let it go get it, and you get to continue hunting. That's the type of thing I'm really looking forward to. And quite honestly, it was an excuse to bring our retriever out here and go for another hunt. I brought him for a brief little hunt when we kind of had the teaser. We didn't know if it was going to be like a, a pointer or a retriever or what it may be. And I wanted to get back out here and do a full hunt. Got to do that, so really glad we get to bring him. And very much looking forward to seeing one being added to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.